This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review heard in the Crude Life Media Network. Today we talk with Terry Eau Claire, Director for the Division of Air Quality with the North Dakota Department of Health about the Davis Refinery coming to Belfield, North Dakota. Sample Auto Sales Manning, North Dakota, a dealership with years of experience in getting folks in the vehicle that fits their lifestyle and budget. They're well connected in the industry and can quickly find the vehicle you're looking for. Cars, minivans, SUVs, light and heavy duty trucks, even golf carts. Check out their current inventory at sampleautosales.com or call them at 701-573-7875. Better yet, stop in their showroom along Highway 22 in Manning, North Dakota. Put their many years of experience to work for you at Sample Auto Sales. Over the past few months i've told you about how unbelievable hatch coaching is well don't just take my word for it listen to what greg tavine of emerging prairies has to say about hatch coaching i got to watch him give a talk at tedx brookings and i saw him come into his own where he shared uncomfortable things from his past in a way that created a teaching environment and eric's somebody that could easily lead with all he's accomplished and it's a long list to find out more information about hatch coaching or to have eric hatch come to your company or event visit coachingwithhatch.com that's coachingwithhatch.com. Welcome back to the Mondak Oil Field Review. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, Terry Eau Claire, Director, Division of Air Quality for the North Dakota Department of Health, about the Davis Refinery coming to Belfield, North Dakota. About that, uh, kind of the milestone, if you will, that has happened with this air quality permit next step. Yeah, Jason, we received uh, the application from the company back in April. Even though it was a minor source, minor being a little less than 100 tons a year, uh, we recognize all the interest that there is in that facility. And we have had staff assigned working hard on that, you know, looking at at the application, reviewing it, you know, to to see if if it's going to comply with the air pollution regulations for not only the state of North Dakota, but as well as EPA. Throughout that process, we had several uh, conference calls with both EPA and the National Park Service and had shared the application with them. So if they had any questions, you know, we could work work through that. And so that brings us to the point we're at now is that we've completed our application review and now we're ready to go out for public comment. And the public comment period is going to start December 8th and it's going to go through January 26th. And what we'd ask the public to do is is go ahead and and look at not only the permit, but all the other information we've posted on our website. And if they've got any questions on that, they can certainly submit comments. But we're also having a public information meeting as well as a hearing schedule for uh, January 17th. And we're going to hold that in in Dickinson, at Dickinson State College. To listen to the full-length interview with Terry Eau Claire with the North Dakota Department of Health or to listen to other Mondak oil field reviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. The Mondak oil field review is part of the Crude Life Media Network. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash thecrudelife. That's facebook.com slash thecrudelife. From the staff of the Mondak oil field review, my name is Jason Spies asking you to be happy, be safe, and keep it turning to the right. Mm-hmm.